Welcome to today's video, my name is Cam Ward and today I want to make a very quick video uh, talking to you about ways to reduce lag in Premiere Pro. Now I use Premiere Pro CC on a MacBook Pro from 2013 and sometimes the footage does lag. Uh, here I'm in a project, this is a music video, uh, there's some 4K footage, some slow-mo, some link clips um, with After Effects and an adjustment layer there with a color grade and all this stuff does kind of take its toll on the computer itself. First thing you can do is reduce the quality here from full, generally when you open Premiere it will be on full, just to click here put it on a quarter quality. Next thing you can do is allocate more RAM to Premiere. So if you click preferences up here at the top, head over to memory, kept five gigabyte free uh, for other applications. This might be used for After Effects say, but you can allocate more or less. Make sure you've allocated as much as you can to Premiere. Uh, also optimize rendering for performance. Hit okay, done. So next thing you can do is head up to file, hit uh, project settings, general, and then here, where it says video rendering and playback renderer, uh, generally on a MacBook, it'll be set to OpenCL. Now, this kind of renders as you go, and I found that it actually can slow things down. So if you click software only, hit OK. And what this means is, um, if you see the green bar here, this means this is already rendered. The red is not rendered. So I've selected the section that I kind of want to render out here. I'm going to hit Enter. <laughs> Okay, so doing this method is a bit longer in the short term. Uh, rendering out this section has taken about 45 seconds, 50 seconds. It does give you a bit faster playback. So as you can see there, it does give you much smoother playback once it's all rendered out. Now it does take about 45 seconds to a minute to render out this section, but as you can see there is a lot going on. Um, you can probably hear the fans booting up actually. So the final thing you can do is use proxies. So if you are trying to edit on a much slower computer, an older computer, I don't always recommend using proxies, but if you do really have a slow computer, then that's probably the best thing to do. I'll leave a link in the description below on a really good tutorial which explains proxies way better than how I could probably do it. Premiere isn't really optimized for Windows or Mac all that well. Final Cut Pro is, that's why when you're editing in Final Cut, it's really, really smooth and snappy and responsive on MacBooks because it's built for Apple software. This won't guarantee that playback's always smooth in Premiere basically and that's very hard to do and that's one of the main things that annoys me about Premiere is that it's not always smooth or fluid like Final Cut is but I just prefer using Premiere so yeah there is that to bear in mind. Anyway that's everything I think if you have any questions or comments just obviously drop a comment below and I will try and catch up with you there and have a great day if you enjoyed this video please be sure to like and subscribe if it helped you out. Thank you very much for watching I will see you in the next one.